I'm Larry Goulder. I work at Stanford University. I'm a professor there, professor of economics. So what I focused on today was our work to look at how you can engage climate policy to encourage entrepreneurs to invent cleaner new technologies. So there's an emphasis on trying to think of policies that would stimulate invention. And that was an aspect of climate policy and economic analysis that tended to be missing from a lot of the analyses of 10 or 15 years ago. And what we wanted to do was build models in which knowledge growth or new discovery was, as, was, part, was captured in the model. What we need is a combination of, um, of support, subsidies, or other incentive mechanisms to help encourage innovation. So we need technology policy. But I think we also need policies that are directly oriented toward emissions. One reason why it's relatively expensive to focus on direct technology policy alone is that the benefits from that, the, the results of that, the fruits of that, tend to occur only over a longer period. So you're, you're wasting 5, 10, 15 years in terms of emission reductions if you focus only on that channel. And that's why some of the work that Steve and I did suggests that it's quite costly to try to achieve emissions reductions even over a, you know, a period of a century if you focus only on technology policy. To some extent, I think that economists and, and many scientists already have a lot of good ideas about how we can productively move forward to combat climate change. Obviously, there's a lot of uncertainty, but um, I think if we were to introduce any of the various policies that, for example, economists have uh, supported, we would, society would be a lot better off in the sense that although there'd be some sacrifice involved, the gains in terms of the avoided damages to the environment, not just in terms of climate damages, but other pollution damages, would overwhelm those sacrifices. I think what gives me hope is uh, when I see the spirit of the students that I encounter uh, and how dedicated they are to, to doing good science, not only uh, natural science but engineering and social science, in which I would include economics, and trying to get really make a difference. Uh, they're, they're an inspiration and uh, I'm also just so impressed by how devoted they are and how inspired they were by Steve, Steve Schneider. So um, you got to think that over time they're going to have some impact. But. Mm -hmm.